what's going on guys let's try this problem right here this question is asking an electron is accelerated through 2400 volts from rest and then enters a region where there is a uniform 1.7 tesla magnetic field what are the maximum and the minimum magnitudes of the magnetic force acting on this electron now to find this one we had to use this equation that is f is equal to q v b sin theta right and here f is the force q is charge and v is velocity b is magnetic field and sin theta is the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field now let's see whether we have all the information available q is for electron we know the charge we can apply that one velocity we don't have that one we have the magnetic field that's provided right here and sin theta so this is just the angle now let we need the velocity first now to find the velocity we don't have the velocity provided so we can use conservation of energy equation if you notice here they have mentioned that this is going from rest so whenever this is in rest there's no kinetic energy in the initial state we don't have kinetic energy so that's going to be zero right because we know that kinetic energy is half mv square so at the initial rest i mean initial state it was at rest so it's going to be zero so there's going to be a potential energy and we know that for electrical potential energy the equation is this p e initial is going to be equal to q v right here v is voltage so q v so this is the initial electric potential energy equation now in order, in order to use conservation energy equation we have to know the final state too right now after so in the initial state it was at rest but as it started to move there's no potential energy there's only going to be a kinetic energy so in the final state we are only going to have kinetic energy kinetic energy final that's going to be half mv square and when we have kinetic energy potential energy is going to be zero potential energy final is going to be zero therefore the conservation of energy equation is going to be qv is equal to half mv square right and if we rearrange this equation we can find the velocity because we know the charge of the electron and this voltage is provided right here and mass of electron also we know that that is 9.11 times 10 to the power of minus 31 and if we plug all that one we can find the velocity now let's rearrange this equation and create an equation for velocity right now this is going to be v is equal to 2qvi over the mass and square root because we have v square right here so if you want to get rid of the square we have to square root this one and let's plug the values two times the electron is it's a negative charge right so we are going to have negative 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19 and then this potential and I mean electric potential that is 2400 volts 2400 volts divided by mass of electron that's going to be 9.11 times 10 to the power of minus 31 and if you square root them you should get 2.9 times 10 to the power of 7 meter per second now we have the velocity now the question is asking for the magnetic force so we have the velocity now we can go ahead and use this equation to find the force right now let's plug the values but before we do that we have to know in which point it's going to be maximum and in which point this force is going to be minimum and the force is maximum when the velocity and the magnetic field are perpendicular like 90 degrees so sign in the, this sign angle is going to be 90 degree and it's minimum when these two are in the same line like they are in 180 degree and actually zero degree right so we know that sine zero is equal to zero so if sine zero is zero everything is going to be zero so minimum is going to be zero f minimum is going to be equal to zero but f maximum is going to be 90 degree and we know that sine 90 is equal to 1 
so we don't even have to put that in the equation because it's just one and if we multiply everything one everything by one it's going it's not going to change anything and this is going to be f is equal to q v b and then q is what the charge of the electron that's going to be since we are calculating magnitude we we can just plug 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 90 times the velocity that is we found out that one right here that is 2.9 times 10 to the power of 7 and then we have the magnetic field that is 1.7 tesla and if you calculate this one you should get 7.9 times 10 to the power of minus 12 newton and that's going to be the maximum force and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this video is helpful to you see you next time